Hey, welcome back. Our next guest went from serving in the military and being a painting contractor to now becoming a model, a fashion designer, and a social media influencer with over 200,000 followers. And joining us now is Stephen Atkins, social media influencer, fashion icon. What more can we say? Thank Veteran. You. Absolutely, yes. First yeah. of all, thank you for your service. Appreciate that. It was my and, honor. And, 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 and serving the country. And, and uh, you know, when we talk about your story, first of all, you know, where you've come from. Absolutely. You know, you're a guy that's, you know, served in the military and you were a painting contractor. That's right. And you've gone from painting now to fashion. Absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of showing what is possible if you have determination and stick to it and, and you have a goal and you just do whatever you have to do to make that goal happen. So Yeah. So you got a fashion line. We're going to talk a little bit about that. You had, you had a fashion show yesterday, as a matter of fact. I did. Yeah. So talk to us about the fashion line. Absolutely. So one of the things that I'm most excited about is my new partnership with a brand called Alton Lane. Mm -hmm. uh, they are a custom men's clothing company for everything from shirts, ties, suits, trousers, shoes, belts, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been able to uh, they brought me on as a guest designer and I was able to create my entire clothing line uh, and we were able to have our first uh, rollout party last night at the Alton Lane Tribeca here in New York uh, it was great to finally you know release it to the public you go through all this time and effort and behind the scenes and months of preparation you're like you want to share but you're having to wait uh, mm -hmm. So we had a great time last night and being able to release the line, uh, had a great party, a lot of people came in and out, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Long time coming? Um, I would say yes. Yeah. 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 When was it that you made the, the final decision, like, listen, I can do this? That was probably about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, yeah. Yeah. And, and walk us through that, because you were at a place where you were doing something else and then... Absolutely. So it was, it was kind of that, uh, you know, a really funny story how it all got started mm -hmm. is when I grew my beard out, believe okay. it or not. So that kind of began my, my story of uh, beard grooming products companies, mm -hmm. wanted me to kind of ambassador for them. Uh, my social media started to grow. Uh, other fashion designers uh, done a lot of runway work and fashion modeling. So it just kind of one thing led to another, led to another. Uh, and then as my profile grew, uh, more opportunities opened up, and then when uh, Alton Lane reached out and I was able to connect with them, it was just a good marriage, and it was one of those things that I really wasn't anticipating, didn't mm -hmm. look to do, but once I got into it, I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I should be doing. So it right. just kind of naturally, organically happened, but a lot of back-end hustle to get there. Right, and you're passionate about, as I said, you had a show yesterday, got a few more this month. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we are had one here in New York. Uh, next week, I head back to my hometown. We have one in Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And then the following week, do Nashville, and then the following week, do Chicago. So oh, awesome, yeah. awesome. So describe your line. Absolutely, they are. Uh, they're more like signature pieces where it, it branches the men's uh, wardrobe out a little bit. Uh, so it's more the not the traditional, let's say, navy blue, gray, and black attire that guys feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I wanted to showcase that there are some pieces that you could add to your wardrobe that you could add with jeans, you could do with dress slacks, uh, t-shirts, shirts and ties. So they're very uh, signature pieces, I would say, mm -hmm. a little pizzazz, a little color, uh, just to kind of branch you out a little bit. Okay, so let's play the game. What's hot and what's not? What is hot and what's not? What's hot right now, I would say, is Hound's Tooth. Really? Hound's Tooth is hot. Okay. I really like the pattern, the styles, uh, the shirt and ties. You have unlimited capability of, of color and design that you can put with it. Uh, another thing that's hot right now that I like personally is, is, is mixing... Uh, colors and patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, most people wouldn't feel comfortable doing that, but if you do it right and it's tailored fit, you can make it look like a million bucks. So we have this argument all the time. We talk about checks and stripes, right? Right, so right, right. So if I got the checks and I wear stripes, I'm out of order. That's not true. Not at all. Not at all. If you feel comfortable with it and you can embrace it, it's great. So what do you like to wear the most? I like to wear velvet. Really? Yes. Yes. So one of my first jackets that I designed with Alton Lane, I was able to wear last night, a uh, purple velvet jacket. It's just one of those things purple that I can rain. dress. Oh. Right? <laughs> dress it up or dress it down. I could wear jeans with it, wear it out casually, or I could wear it to a black tie affair. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it seems as though people are more in the business casual, right? Of course. And so is your line a little bit more towards that business casual? Like, I can, I can look really business, but at the same like. Like you're doing a day. Of course, of right. course. Yes, uh, we have vests. Mm -hmm. So you could do a nice button-down shirt and add a vest and then do some jeans with it and some nice loafers. So there's definitely some versatility there. Give me this walk and uh, some, some advice here. I got somebody watching right now. Okay. And they're saying, listen, you know what? I think I want to do this, right? But my problem is I always have a problem with color combinations. Gotcha. So what are the good combinations to have? I mean, I think you, you, you got it together today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, a lot of color combinations that I like are you do like the fluorescent colors, like your pinks and your lavenders, mm -hmm. go really well with your blues and blacks. Um, one of the things that I always recommend is if you're having difficulty with that, putting it together or having an idea, one of the customer service people at Alton Lane in their stores, they're great about being able to show you ideas and patterns. I always feel like that the eye doesn't lie. And what I mean by that, if you see a color that you tend to cater towards, that's telling you that it's something that you might necessarily like. Mm -hmm. Or if you see one you're like, mm, that just doesn't do it, then don't go that way. Go, right. with, the, go with something that you naturally kind of gravitate towards. The wardrobe builder, right? Somebody's like, ah, I gotta build my wardrobe, I gotta get right. So sure. it's, it's, there's a beginner out there that watch. They say, hey, I, I like this guy's look, but I just, you know, I, I only got a little bit of money to do this, do that. Absolutely. How do you build that wardrobe? I would start with, you know, a signature uh, jacket. Mm -hmm. Just spend a little time and, and either getting a jacket made, uh, finding that pattern that's going to be not necessarily navy blue or gray, but try to find maybe a white or a check or a little bit of pattern. You can do so much with that. You, again, dress it up with a shirt and tie or a pair of jeans, and you can wear it out. Uh, get a nice button-down shirt. Start with, um, you know, if you need to do white for mm -hmm. more traditional, that's fine. But get it with a herringbone pattern within the white, so it has a little bit of texture. Very similar to what you're wearing today. Very fly, I like that shirt. So Thank you very much. <laughs> See, I knew he was coming, so I had to step right, it up. Right, we, right, right. Thank you. Um, veterans are very important to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Obviously, we, talk, we highlighted that you are a veteran. Yes. Um, and in your way, you're giving back. Absolutely. So one of the things that uh, I'm really excited about is partnering up with a company called Assault Forward. Mm -hmm. uh, now what they have are lapel pins, cuff links, and kind of tie bars. Uh, it is a great way for veterans to uh, talk, and talk about their service or share their story of service because it's an American flag that is actually in reverse. And what most people say is, well, isn't that backwards? Well, honestly, as in the military, if you are charging towards the battleground, the flag is in that direction. So you're charging towards the battle instead of retreating. Mm. So that's why the flag is flown in that direction. So it's a great little signature thing that I'm excited about, a uh, great way for service members, even people that are married or have service members, a great way to show that American pride. And it's a great conversation starter, like, why does the flag seem to be that way? Well, mm -hmm. when, when we're charging into battle, we're not retreating. That's the way the flag is flown. So. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So good plans for the summer? Big plans? Absolutely. Well, definitely with all the parties coming up and right. traveling a lot. So definitely hoping to come back to New York again and, and spend some time here as well. So. Yeah. Do you know when you're coming back? What's, what, do you, do you have not you not yet. Here? Don't know yet. What? Don't know yet. Well, listen, social media. Absolutely. Big thing. Yes. You're yes, an influencer. Yes, yes. How's that, how's that come about? It, it was a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, you need to spend a lot of time developing good content, finding a good photographer to put out good quality photos, uh, advertising. You've got to pay a little bit for advertising. Mm -hmm. You've got to network with some high-level influencers to give you shout-outs and word of mouth. Uh, and it's really just a a spending a lot of time to get the, I guess, the snowball up the mountain, and then eventually when it kind of, crests and starts to go down, it'll pick up speed. So, right. Yeah. You talk about like on IG, you're like 200,000 followers plus, you know. Did you ever think that? Uh, not. Didn't think it would get quite that, but mm -hmm. it's it's been a wild ride. It's been yeah. a wild ride. And the best is still yet to come. Absolutely. So tell people if they want to check you out, what do they do? Absolutely. Just check us out at uh, adkins.steven is my Instagram handle. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, later this week, my landing page will be available with all of my designs at altonlane.com. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. And good to have you, man. Thank you, man. And come on back. When you're in New York, you don't stop here. I sure will. On Wednesday <laughs> with me so we can talk fashion. Absolutely. And work this thing out. You got it, brother. All righty. Stephen Atkins, our guest here on Open. Now, listen, to stay updated on Stephen's latest collection, follow him on Instagram at Atkins.Stephen, and uh, you'll be able to find out more there. Listen, we've come to the end of our show today. Of course, we want to thank all our guests for joining us. Most of all, you, the viewer, for tuning in. Now, if you missed any part of today's show, you can catch the Recablecast at 5 and 10 p.m. on Optimus Channel 67. I don't have that. Well, you got Verizon. That's Verizon Files. We're on Channel 33. I don't have that. Well, you can watch us anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. That wraps it up for us here on the set of Open. I'm Darren Jaime, making sure to tell you to keep this channel wide open. Special shout out to all those who are watching live simultaneously on our Eminem channel. Special shout out to my sister and the family. See you guys soon. Take care. God bless. <laughs>